With the near completion of one building, the Doan community can say goodbye to another. This past week, demolition crews began tearing down the Goodall Arts and Science Building, which was built in 1962. Plant manager Mike Hartwell says over the years, the usefulness of the building was depleting. In the last 10 years, we built the new LEED Math and Science Building, which took the place of the science features that the building had. And then again, you know, as it was getting older, more of the equipment was outdated and we would have had to go in and do some extensive remodeling. And to do extensive remodeling, you have to take into consideration the materials that are in the building. So we would have had to spend a lot of money to do that type of thing. And what we had in place was something that, you know, was already serving the science part of it quite well. Hartwell says, due to state law, the college had to have the building free of certain debris prior to demolition. Uh, in order to tear it down, we first had to have a study done. The study had to indicate where or what needed removed prior to demolition. And those are the rules and regulations of the Nebraska Health and Human Services Department. Anything being demoed, demolished, has to, you know, be clear of debris that, you know, like asbestos. We did the study. The study showed what needed to be removed, which was some floor tile, some adhesive for the floor tile, uh, some insulation, some ceiling uh, tile, some ceiling in the hallway, different things like that. And over a three-week period prior to them starting to de demo the building, we had them remove all that asbestos. Hartwell says the future of the demolition site will be an open green space for everyone to enjoy. For DCTV, I'm Adam Bermude.